In this video, we'll take a look at active clamper circuits. Clamper circuits are used to DC shift a waveform up or down by a certain amount. The basic passive clamper circuit is constructed using a capacitor and diode in series, where the output is taken from the diode. There are two types of clampers, positive and negative. Suppose we feed a sinusoidal input with a maximum voltage of Vmax to the positive clamper. Then we will get a sine wave shifted upwards by Vmax in the output. However, this is assuming the diode is ideal. If we consider a practical diode, then the waveform will shift down by the threshold voltage of the diode. This problem can be solved using an active clamper circuit. An active clamper circuit can be built using an op amp, a capacitor and a diode. This is the circuit of an active clamper. Suppose we have a load resistor or L connected at the output. Note that the diode is in the feedback loop. A predetermined DC level is added to the input voltage. In other words, the output is clamped to a certain DC level. If the clamped DC level is positive, we call it a positive clamper and if the DC level is negative, we call it a negative clamper. In the following clamper circuit, we add a positive voltage V ref to the positive terminal of the op amp. Suppose the AC input is a sine wave of period T and peak voltage V max. The output voltage of the clamper is a net result of the AC and DC input voltages applied to the inverting and non-inverting inputs respectively. Hence, to find the output, we use superposition, meaning we treat each input separately and then add up their effects. First consider the input voltage V ref at the non-inverting input. Since this voltage is positive, the output of the op amp is positive, forward biasing the diode. Thus, the feedback path is closed. Remember that C is an open circuit for the DC voltage, hence it does not have an effect on the operation of the circuit. No current flows through the resistor R, and hence the op amp now acts like a voltage follower. Hence, V out is equal to V ref. Now let's consider the AC input at the inverting terminal. The capacitor is assumed uncharged in the beginning. During the negative half cycle, V- is negative and hence V- is less than V+. This means the op amp output becomes positive, thus the diode conducts. Due to this, the capacitor C is charged till the peak value of the input, V max. However, during the positive half cycle, V- is greater than V+, hence the op amp output is negative. Therefore, V is reversed biased and hence the voltage Vmax across the capacitor, acquired during the negative half cycle, is retained. This voltage Vmax is in series with the positive peak voltage Vmax. Hence the output peak voltage will be Vmax plus Vmax, or 2 Vmax. Thus, the net output in steady state is V ref plus 2 V max. Hence, as the output is clamped to a positive voltage level, this is a positive clamper. For precision clamping, we need CRF to be much lesser than T by 2, where T is the time period of the input frequency and RF is the forward resistance of the diode. The resistor R is used to protect the op amp against excessive discharge currents from the capacitor, especially when the DC supply voltages are switched off. We can make a negative clamper simply by reversing the polarity of the diode and applying a negative reference voltage as shown. The output waveform for the negative clamper will look like this. That's it for the clamper. If you have any doubts, Feel free to ask in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.